What's up guys, Sila here, and we are back with another Rate Your Transmog, where you guys submit transmogs to me, we take a look at them, and then you guys can leave a comment below saying what you think the set is out of 10. So if you feel it's a 1 out of 10, you say 1 out of 10. If you feel it's a 10 out of 10, the best set you've ever seen, then you say 10 out of 10. And this week we've been submitted a set by Wadino, and this is the base set of Frosty Crusades, is uh, the name for it. And basically it's a prelate set, it is accessible by Death Knights, Warriors and Paladins, there's no sort of class specific pieces used in this set. And a very cool set overall, you know, it, it kind of looks like a, an Argent Crusader. Um, definitely all comes to well, uh, comes together very well, and especially because he's got the Argent Tournament mount as well, you know, it all fits together very, very nicely. So definitely a cool set in my opinion, and that's why I picked it out this week to show it off and let you guys... Have a look and see what you thought of the set overall. So, with the introduction out of the way, now we're going to take a look at where the pieces for the set actually are from and where each piece comes from. Okay, so we're going to take a look at where the pieces for the set actually come from, and I'll give him that, it does look pretty cool on the armory as well. So the first piece up is the helm, and that is the Fang Deflecting Face Guard. And this comes from um, the Argent Crusade faction back in Wrath. You will need to be at least revered with them, but there's a few easy ways of doing that. You can turn justice points into badges and get rep, or you can go buy the tabard and farm dungeons with the tabard on. So there's a couple of methods of getting to revered with them, um, and once you are revered, you'll be able to purchase the helm. There's also a couple of other methods of actually getting the helm, um, like the crafted one looks very similar. I think it's the brilliant titan steel helm looks identical. Yeah, I think that looks the same. So th there is a couple of alternatives out there if you aren't able to get the Fang Deflecting Face Guard. Uh, the next piece up is the shoulders, and that is the Pauldrons of the Justice Seeker. And they come from Karazhan, they're going to come from Shade of Aran, um, which is like the middle-ish boss of Karazhan. 20%-ish um, drop chance, so you have to go ahead back into Karazhan and go kill Shade for a chance of getting these. You can only do Shade once a week, so if you don't get them the first week... Then you have a couple of alternatives. There are ones from the um, the Hellfire Peninsula rep. If you get to, I'm not too sure what rep you'd actually need. Let's take a look. You will need at least honored. So that one's not too bad either. But oh, these are a recall. And never mind, they're no good to you. So as far as I'm aware, then these are the only ones that you'd really be able to pick up. Let's check these out quickly. Those look similar, actually, so you might be able to get these from Botanica. Not too sure if they are the same. They look very similar, though. Yeah, they look to be the same colour. So, yep, you can go farm Lash in um, Botanica, and you'll have a 25% of chance of getting the shoulders from there as well. Next up is the back, and you're choosing the Cloak of Beasts, although I'm not too sure if he has his cloak showing on his armoury. But, either way, yeah, I don't think he has that cloak on. But if you are interested in getting the same cloak, it is the Cloak of Beasts made by Leather Workers. Um, it is a Cataclysm recipe, so you will need to go get all the mats for that from Kata. And get that crafted if you do want the, the same cloak. Although I don't think he actually has cloaks on. The next piece up is the chest, and that is the Breastplate of the Righteous. So that's going to come from... And the Steam Vaults is going to come from Warlord, and it's on a 16% drop chance. So you can go do um, the Steam Vaults, which is located within Zangamash, and you can go do that dungeon. Is it on Heroic? I think this is on Heroic. Oh, it can drop in both Normal and Heroic difficulty, so there you go. The next piece up is his Tabard. Now, the, the Tabard actually adds to the set. Normally, I, I skip the Tabard if it isn't sort of important, but his Tabard does add to the whole set. And it is the Argent Crusaders Tabard. Now, this comes from the Argent Tournament, um, which is located in ICC, or, sorry, in Ice Crown. Um, and you will need to get to, I think it's Revered to buy this. Let me check. To buy the Tabard, you do need... It doesn't say... Maybe you can buy it instantly then, I'm not too sure. Let's have a look. It doesn't mention what reputation you actually need for it. And I can't remember. Oh, you need to be exalted for the Argent. Okay, so there you go. So you will need to be exalted and to be able to purchase the Tabard and it will cost you 50 of the, the points. So that one would be quite a grind to actually get. So good luck with that one. Um, next up is the gloves, and that's the Gauntlets of the Righteous. And once again, that's from an ICC, sorry, a TBC dungeon. And we're going to get them from the Shattered Halls. 
So go do the Shattered Halls and you'll have a 16% chance of getting them in normal or heroic. So you can farm them in normal until you get them. The same with the chest. Uh, the next piece up is the belt and that's the Girl of the so uh, Soulful Mending. And that comes from Dragon Soul. Where's that? There we go. Uh, that's a BOE belt. So you will be able to purchase off the auction house and it is from the Paladin tier from uh, Dragon Soul. So there's a lot of look-like belts that you'll be able to get that have the same model as this. But so far this set is completely open to Death Knights, Paladins and Warriors, so any plate user will be able to use this set. Uh, the next piece up is his legs, and they're the standard issued leg guards, they're from Argent Crusade Honored. So if you are going to farm to get the helm, which is revered, then at the same time you will be able to pick up the legs, which will be from the same vendor, but they'll require Honored. So you'll be able to get these before you can get the actual legs. And then the next piece up is his boots, and they're the boots of uh, Valiance, and they're from Karazhan from Moros. But I, the, the boots is the, the only thing I'd say with the set that isn't my favourite. I would get some other boots for the set. The boots are a bit like pixelated because they're an older model. Uh, they don't have as many pixels as the, the newer boots do. So I'd definitely say there's some other boots that you could get in place of these. But they don't come from Moros, which is Karazhan, which you'd need to do anyway to get these shoulders. So it's worth doing that if you want to get the same um, boots. And finally is his weapon. He doesn't actually have that transmogged because it is the current tier uh, PvP weapon. The Trianical Gladiator's Decapitator. Now this is Alliance only. The Horde model does look different. But it is purchasable from Conquest, this tier. And it will set you back 3,500 Conquest. So there you go. Uh, if you do get the Alliant Horde version, it will look slightly different. And I'll show you what I mean by that now. As you can see, it's got like the Horde logo and things like that on, so you probably have to find a different weapon if you were going to use this set on Horde. But apart from that, all the other pieces are accessible to anyone who's a plate wearer. And I did say, you know, I wasn't going to, well, I, I did do a plate set last time, but I definitely wanted to show this set off because, um, I don't know, it, I found it to be quite a cool looking set. And um, definitely something a little bit different from what's been submitted so far anyway. So please leave a comment below. I'm going to put a... Uh, a comment saying cloth, leather, mail and plate. Please thumbs up the comment that, of the set that you'd like to see next. For example, if you want to see a cloth set next, then when I leave the comment saying, do you want to see cloth, you thumbs that up. And then the comment with the most thumbs up will be the next set we show. So if cloth gets 50 votes and the others get 20, then cloth would be the next set I show. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Look out for more of these videos coming soon. See ya!